Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carla and today we are going to face a very daunting task and that is cleaning up my closet and getting rid of stuff that I don't need anymore. As you can see, I'm surrounded by clothes because, well, that's what we're gonna do, spring cleaning. Your girl is a hoarder and that has got to stop. So what I'm gonna do is try on every single piece of clothing that I own and share it with you guys and hopefully I'll find the courage to get rid of the stuff that I don't wear anymore or that I don't plan on wearing anymore or that don't fit me anymore, whatever. I just gotta stop hoarding clothes. So yeah, that is what we're doing today. So like I said, I'm gonna try on all the pieces that I own in my closet and I wanna show it to you guys. But if I'm gonna do that, this is going to be a super, super long video. So in order for it not to be, I decided to divide it into three different videos, call it like a mini series, if you will. A spring cleaning mini series and um, each video will be a different category or different categories so for example today's video will be dresses rompers jumpsuits overalls one pieces and all that kind and the next video will be probably tops like blouses and t-shirts and the next video will be my bottoms so you get the picture so I've already taken out all of the clothes from my closet some are on the floor some are on the bed so it's a bit messy you'll see but before we get into this video just want to make sure you are subscribed after this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and yeah show some love also before i forget if you have any questions about the pieces that i'm going to show you guys like where i got them or like how do i style them whatever just leave them in the comment section down below and i'm going to try and answer most of them so yeah let us get on with this video now okay so i've stacked them into different categories to make it easier for me to get into the trying on part this is the bottoms section with all my jeans trousers and whatnot then we have t-shirts and blouses skirts and shorts and the category that we're tackling today dresses one pieces and overalls now let's get started so we're starting off with this wrap dress that is really pretty but don't really get a lot of attention from me mostly because I don't really wear a lot of summer dresses very often so surprise surprise. I'm not sure if I'm ready to let this go though so put this as a maybe. Next we have this dress that was given to me by a brand. It still has a tag on which means I haven't used it at all. I've been saving it for when an occasion calls for it because you never know when you'll need a little, well, LVD. But alas, the occasion hasn't arrived yet and I don't think it will end time soon so this is an easy no. Now this dress is a vintage find and we've already made so much memories together because I often bring this to whenever I travel. I also get a lot of compliments wearing this dress so this is a tough one to let go. Probably leave it as a maybe for now. Now this is another dress gifted by a brand which I have yet to wear and still has a tag on it. This gives me sort of secretary sexy vibes except I'm not sexy but I thought one day I could be but well not really and I don't think I will ever wear this dress so easy pass going out for sure. Now this baby doll dress I often forget that I have this but when I do I wear it a lot. I usually wear it layered with a top and sometimes with jeans too and because it's so versatile I think I will hold on to this. This dress, I bought it on an H&M sale and I thought it was extra. So I wore it once only during my trip to Bali last year and I used it as a bikini cover-up but I don't think I'll wear it again so this can go. This is a Zara dress that I've worn so often especially in my travels. We've made so much memories together already but I think it's already super worn out that I'm okay to let it go so it's about time. Now this dress is one of my recent acquisitions, you've seen this in my last Zalora haul and I'm not ready to let it go yet because this is my current go-to dress when I'm lazy to think about what to wear but I still want to look cute and all. Also it's super airy which is perfect for malicious weather so keeping this one. This is another dress that I've recently acquired, you've seen this in my Port Dixon vlog. I'm not sure if I really like it that much to keep it around but at the same time I kind of want to so I'm not sure so let this be a maybe. Another brand gifted dress but this one has experienced some love. I like this because it's sort of a bodycon dress which is a type that I don't really verge towards but this has a more laid back and comfy appeal than most bodycon dresses so I think I'm keeping this a little longer. Then we have this really pretty dress but for some reason just never look flattering on me. 
I guess because this is measured to fit a tall girl and I'm borderline petite, so it's not ever right for me. But I don't know. Let's decide whether to keep this or not later. Now, this dress is one that you guys have seen recently on my quarantine lookbook and grunge lookbook video and has gotten me a lot of compliments. I also like wearing this dress down with sneakers and I think it's such a versatile piece, so I'm not ready to let this go yet, keeping this one. Okay, so now this dress, which is also gifted from a brand, is the one that I usually reach for whenever I want to wear a dress on cooler seasons because it goes so well with over-the-knee high boots. I usually wear it knotted around the waist or cinched with a belt so that it has some sort of structure because it's just too straight and too long for me. And I'm not ready to let this go yet, so we'll keep this one. Now let's move on to one pieces, and first up is this denim romper. This is a no-brainer keep because this is one of those pieces that I reach for when I'm lazy to put on together an outfit but still want to seem like I made an effort, so this is a keep. Then we have this romper in such a vibrant yellow color which I really really like at first because it was a bit loose and airy but after washing it the first time, it shrunk to this fit and I don't really like how it looks on me now so this is an easy peasy no, we are letting this one go. Now this romper I sometimes like, I sometimes don't like. So I tend to like it when I haven't had a meal yet because it fits me well, but then after, it just feels weird around the stomach area. I don't know. I love myself a gingham printed item, but I'm undecided, so this one is maybe. This pair of overalls is one of those pieces that I reach for when I want to layer and look cool, but know I will be eating a lot. And it's super comfortable to wear and goes with a lot of my sneakers, so this is an easy peasy keep. Then this is a pair of overalls which I bought because it was on sale. I like the material because it's linen, which is perfect for Malaysia's climate, but for some reason, I don't find it flattering on me. Maybe because, well, it's just me, I don't wear it too often, nor do I plan to, so this is definitely going out. Now this one gives me major delivery man vibes. I really like this, especially worn with sneakers. I think it's really cool. I like myself a good workwear and this, with this soft fabric it's made out of, it's super comfy. Keeping this for sure. This one's a recent purchase from Monkey, which I've only worn once and I've also managed to ruin it in laundry. You can't see it right now, but it has pink patches all over. I will keep this however for future DIY projects. I mean, tie-dye is a trend that's coming back and I might just do that. Now this is my all-time favorite denim overalls gifted by Dr. Denim. I've worn this so many times I can't even count. To the mountains, to clubbing, to the office, anywhere you can think of. It goes with everything, so this one's a definite keeper. Then last but not the least, this denim overalls. I still love this and I still often use this as well, so keeping, keeping, keeping. Okay, so we are done for today and here we have the keep pile and here we have the letting go pile. I actually haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them, whether I'm gonna sell them or give them away or donate them. So let me think about it. But um, I recently just opened a carousel account in Malaysia. I don't know how it works yet. I'm gonna figure it out and it's, if it's something that I can make use of, then I'm probably gonna sell the ones that still have their tags on. And then the maybe pile. So. We are going to have to go through this pile because we can't keep a maybe forever. And um, I've been thinking about this while I was setting up and everything and I kind of just feel like as hard as it is. <laughs> I do have like a lot of sentimental connection with these clothes, but as hard as it is, I think I have to let them go. It's time. It's, it's really time. I just have to. So these, I'm not picking out anyone, these will all have to go to this pile. No exceptions. But yeah, that is it. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and I hope you're gonna be subscribing from now on and hit the bell while you're at it because you know, you wanna get notified. Anyway, that is it for today. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions or whatever and I will see you in the next episode. 